Hey everyone, it's been several weeks since the new year, which means that the gyms are finally starting to empty out as people once more drop out of their fitness regime. Personally, my favourite machine at the gym is the vending machine. Anyway, back to the news. There's not been a huge amount in the news this week, although I did see a headline, quote, Shark swims ashore in New Jersey. I didn't know sharks wore jerseys, or any clothing for that matter. That joke, of course, is also the answer to the question, quote, what did Delaware? There is, however, the two big stories here about Israel. The first of these is the ICJ's decision in the Hague to accuse Israel of genocidal acts. It's almost a parody of itself, really. It doesn't actually go so far as accusing them of genocide, but it does say, in a very legal-speak version, that it's going to look into the issue and come to a decision in a couple of years' time. It's the sort of decision where you'd expect them to act pretty quickly, really. Otherwise, it's like writing a letter to your local fire station when you want them to extinguish your house. Anyway, it does remind me of the old joke about what's the difference between a politician and a lawyer. The answer being that they both lie to you, but the lawyer does it slowly and in Latin. This court case, by the way, was brought by South Africa, which is also only about one national election away from its own genocide. Although there is a second case pending being brought curiously by Indonesia, of all places. That country, however, is having to go down a different legal angle, citing, quote, policies and practices in the occupied Palestinian territories. And hilariously enough, this is because Indonesia doesn't recognise international genocide law owing to problems in its own recent history. I believe that next month the court is also ruling on the case of the pot versus the kettle. Anyway, the other Israel story this week was about the United Nations Relief and Works Agency. This is the agency that supports humanitarian work in Palestine. Oh, wait, no, as it turns out, it was actually quite involved and complicit in the Hamas attacks last October. And so funding is therefore being put on hold by half a dozen countries, including the UK and Canada. Presumably the UN staff misunderstood the memo about the new uniforms and being dressed to kill. Just like how the UN went to the Rwandan civil war and observed a minute silence by handing out silencers to the rebels. Unfortunately, the UN is a joke. And just like a BBC panel show, it's quite dated and not very funny. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.